Hello everybody, welcome back to the Young Fan Podcast. Just to let you know, this is an episode with Tom from 4-0 written all over it. We did a long form episode discussing Portsmouth, breaking down their season and discussing next year as well. So make sure when that comes on the channel, you check that out. Also check Tom's channel out, 4-0 written all over it. The link will be to that in the description down below. This is his League One team of the season. My team of the season is on the channel right now. So you, after this one, make sure you go and check that one out. That'd be much appreciated. Subscribe if you like, if you haven't already. And like I said, a massive thank you to Tom once again for coming on the channel. Channel. Enjoy the episode. But I do want to. I do want to come on to the team of the season. Um, cool. I've done my team of the season episode. That'll be coming out really, really soon. Hopefully, I'm probably going to put it out after this one comes out. Um, but I want to sort of go through. I presume. First of all, have you got with a formation, Tom? Have you gone with a formation, or have you gone? I've. I have. I've just. Yeah, it's a bit of a. I'm just trying to think if I've got too many players on there. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Kick off and goal. You're gonna, you're gonna like this. The only chance I could get to get a Pompey player in this team of I the season, fair. I think it's fair. Is is Gavin Bazunu, um, and he's best keeper I've ever seen in a Pompey shirt, probably since England's number one, David James. I'd probably say yes. Um, pulled off some unbelievable saves this season. He, he's been absolutely ridiculous. Like has kept us in. I would hate to. Yeah, you know, we we said how average our season has been. I'd hate to think. If we hadn't had Gavin Bazunu in goal, I don't know where on earth we'd be in the league because he's um yeah he's he's been I think statistically been I think statistically Liam Cooper made the most saves this season, but I I just think Bazunu's on another level. He's, he's yeah he's he's been immense. So Bazunu for me, um, right back or left back? We'll go, we'll, go for, we'll go left to right. So we'll start go go left back. Have you got okay. who have you got down there? I went for Joe Jacobson at Wickham. Yeah. Um, I wanted to put a, it's the only, I think it's the only Wickham player that I've gone for actually there. Um, so what I wanted to get a bit of, of Wickham representation in there. I think he's like the fourth best for, for blocks and, and interceptions in, in league one was a, a stat I saw. Um, I th- yeah. I, I, I think when we, we played Wickham, we had some really boring games against Wickham actually. I think we beat him one nil away from home, which was a great away win on, on the road for us. Um, and and then we had um, we had we obviously had had our place at, at Fratton Park as well. He, he is a, a, he's definitely a, a standout left back in League One. There are a couple of names that he could have put in there, but I, I just I wanted to try and keep it as like yeah as, as fair as we can. He deserves as to fair be as there. He's, can. Been a, he's been a very very good left back this year, no doubt about it. He obviously, nearly very nearly gotten promoted, and he's such a consistent player as well. I talk about Joe Jacobson. The consistency of someone like that is uh, you know he's done it in League One uh, for quite a few years now, and such a key part of Gareth Ainsworth's side. It's only fair that he's in there we'll go to the center backs then have you got the back we'll, we'll i tell you what i'm doing a three four three if that's all right okay three, you, that's actually we'll fine. Three, that's fine. Four, three. um i went i went ramari edmonds green for for rotherham as, as yeah. my as a yeah. center back we'll go for yeah he's played everywhere played a, as a right center back he's played everywhere this year defensively everywhere so stick him in the in the back line somewhere i wanted a bit of experience in there in terms of a team he's, he's 28 years old now so and obviously Rotherham have been immense this season, so I wanted to get um I wanted to get a Rotherham player in there. There aren't any Rotherham players up up top, by the way. So that might be a little bit of a sneak little bit of a that. yeah, a little bit of a sneak preview. Yeah, no, I went I went Edmund Screen. Um, I know quite a few one of my best mates is a Rotherham fan, and he never stops talking about him and, and talks about how how ridiculous he's been. And they he's on loan from Huddersfield, bit, isn't he? He's, he's, he is, he's on yeah. loan, yeah. He's had a great season, and they, they've but they've let very few in, haven't they? Rotherham this season, they've been they've, they've been, been so good defensively. They have, yeah. So I think they needed a bit of Rotherham in there. Um, my right back, Jack, you won't be surprised right. by this, is Jack Watmore. Um, Jack Watmore, yeah. Of, of, Obviously yeah. got the Pompey connection. He's at, he's at Wigan, and and they've had a. a, a Oh dear! I oh know we've got ten minutes. For okay, ten minutes fine. is fine. It's fine. Panic then. I saw it flash up on the screen. No, I was like, oh no, it's fine. Um, Pompey connection could have been. Sunderland's Dennis Serkin quite easily in that role. Um, but I have got a couple. Of, I don't know if I've got any Sunderland players, actually. It's a bit bad. Um, but anyway, it could have been him quite easily. Just pit me to the post on Jack Watmore because of obviously the promotion. Because of, I mean, I watched him play for years and years and years and couldn't speak higher of Jack Watmore. I think he's 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 immense and he really grew as a player and he's blossomed at Wigan which obviously is heartbreaking to see from a Pompey point of view but I'm delighted that he'll be playing in the championship next season I think he's going to have a really good year um, and, and I can't wait to, to I'll keep following it's one of those where he leaves your club and you keep following his journey yeah, yeah, see him do really well um, so went went for what more um, are we going from left to right again then yeah, yeah we could do that yeah yeah 
We'll go from left to right again. Left winger went for Wes Burns from Ipswich Town. Yeah, he's been, he's been. I watched. I think it was the game. Was it on TV over the sort of two games before the end of the season? He is a live. He, he's he's a lively, lively player, and mm. it's so quick. I mean, I didn't even notice how quick he was. But you let him. I mean, he sort of plays as a right. You know, you got him in the formation. He's a right winger, right wing back, right midfielder. He's absolutely crucial. He's been so good for Ipswich this year. Disappointing, of course, their season as a whole. But you mm. talk about someone that can leave that season with a head held high. I think Wes Burns is exactly that type of player. I think he's been brilliant this year. And just to build on what you said there, he absolutely cleaned up at their end of season awards as well. I think he was their yeah. players' player of the year. He was the uh, community player of the year and all sorts. He won absolutely everything yeah. for all the players. Um, and as you said, he's... he's almost as a wing back out of position all season, yeah. which is ridiculous. So um, yeah, great season for Wes Burns. I went Barry Bannon, um, yeah. centre of midfield. I don't think there's any really argument with that. I, yeah, I think, you know, there's there's a there's a, a shout for a couple more. Not the goal of the season for me though, I'm afraid. The one against MK Dotton you're talking about. The one against is not the yeah. goal of the season for me. And we'll, we'll hear about what the goal of the season was, I think. And he's he's been he's been robbed of a League One team of the season spot as well. We'll talk about it. Well, how's he not later. got in that? I don't know how has he not got in there. Um, but yeah, so so Bannon, Bannon for me is in there. He ran the show at Sheffield Wednesday. Ridiculous talent. You know, it's it's almost illegal for him to be playing in League One. Um, I don't know. You know, it's going to be really difficult to to put up with him for two games next season, or it could could be even more. Really, uh, yeah. Who knows against Sheffield Wednesday next year? Um, another Rotherham player, I'm afraid, but I had to put him in there. Dan Barlassa is in the centre yeah, midfield for yeah. me. Um, nine goals, seven assists for Rotherham this season, but he's, um, he's my mate James's favourite Rotherham player, I think, ever. He absolutely loves the bloke. Um, and yeah, he, he doesn't stop talking about him either. And he's it's one of those where he's what goes under the radar a little bit, I think, perhaps, and maybe doesn't get the plaudits that he deserves because he's not your out and out striker, he's not scoring goals, he's not. You know, obviously he's got nine. Panucci Kamara on the on the um, on the right hand side for me. Unbelievable when we played them. Could have been James McLean, but went for Panucci. Scott Twine heavily linked with us at the start of the season. MK. Dom, but you disappointed you missed out on that. Massively I mean, disappointed. Danny called it a mistake. I'm like, Danny, come on, mate. It's more, more than, than a mistake. mistake that is yeah. oh, ridiculous. Player of the season overall, League One. Scott Twine as well. Then up top. Um, I went Will Keane. We beat Wigan yeah. 3-0, but you could see his talent. And then Cole Stockton, who Morecambe have rejected offers from. I've got a list here. Sunderland, um, Bolton have offered a lot of money for him in the last couple of weeks as well. And they've rejected him, which I think says says absolutely everything. 23 goals in 44 games. Where would Morecambe be without Cole Stockton? That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. Well, they'd be in League 2, two I think, wouldn't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you there so you much. Well, amazing team this season. A cracking team this season. Of course, my team this season will be coming out in, in, in just a, a few days, hopefully, when you're watching this one. But an amazing team this season there. I mean, there's so many different players that could be in there, but just to pick 11 is such a difficult task. Tom, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. It's been an amazing amazing uh, chat we've discussed everything really if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below i'm sure tom will come on uh, hopefully if, he, if he's willing to come on maybe at the start of next season as well discussing uh, going in, into next year um and yeah really really exciting time thank you so much tom you're welcome mate thanks for watching everybody subscribe Perfect. down below we want the young fan podcast to be taken over league one football next season um hopefully, so mate. get that done and um yeah hopefully be on the channel very soon mate Make sure you subscribe to 4-0 written and over it. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.